All right, so here's my headpiece. It's nice and colorful. It's got lots of different little paper flowers. And I think I'm gonna have my hair down because then I don't have to work out what earrings I'm wearing. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought today I would do a little get ready with me um, Melbourne Cup edition. So I know I'm just in my bathroom, so the sound and the lighting is probably not that great, but I've been pretty lazy with my vlogs lately and I feel like I really need to make a new one. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm gonna be using some activated charcoal that I just got in this little jar and my special activated charcoal toothbrush and it's just gonna whiten my teeth naturally so it looks better in photos. So basically I just grab my toothbrush and wet it with some water and then just stick it in there and kind of cover all the tooth bits. What are they called? I cover all the fronds with activated charcoal. This bit I can't talk too much because this stuff goes everywhere and it's a huge disaster so yeah. Mm, now they're nice and clean and they feel really good. The activated charcoal makes them feel really clean and like smooth, which is my favorite. Okay, so next is the makeup. So because it is Melbourne Cup, I'm going to dress up a little bit more than I usually would with my makeup. So I'm also going to prime my face because my face has been pretty oily recently and I have already moisturized, but so that's why it's a little bit shinier, but you know, it's better to be safe. So I'm going to be using this professional. Um, what's this called? So I'm going to be using Porefessional as a primer to prime my skin and make sure I keep all the pores minimized and looking cute. And then on to foundation. So I'm just using this Clinique foundation. What is it? It says Acne Solutions Liquid Makeup. Um, I don't particularly think it makes a difference to my skin breaking out. Um, when my skin wants to break out, it does so anyway, but I just really like the consistency and I like the color as well. So just putting a little bit on this weird brush that I use for foundation. So yep, yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. And I've been fake tanning, I've been using just, I'm not Bondi Sands. Oh, I've been using La Tan just to tan up because I was looking pretty white. So this is actually a perfect color for my face now. So I'm just gonna be using this Mecca um, Banana Bake Loose Powder with this big fluffy double brush. And I'm just gonna be using this fluffy end here just to kind of set some of my foundation, especially kind of like under my eyes and my forehead. So it made me a little bit pale, so I'm going to bronze up now using Hula, which is my favorite bronzer. All right, so I'm just going to be taking this Hula by Benefit, how is that in focus? Yeah, Hula by Benefit. Um, the bronzer is so great, like it's just the mini one that I'm using, but it's lasted me so long and I use this every day. And I'm just going to be taking this big old fluffy brush and just taking some of that and then on my cheekbones. And just bringing it up to my temples to make it look, you know, more of that summer glow that I definitely don't have yet. All right, so eyebrows are my favorite and my least favorite thing to do because like at the moment, I'm kind of in between getting my eyebrows done and so I want them to be a bit darker and a little bit like of a better shape. But I'm going to be using the All Magical Hourglass um, Eyebrow Pencil. So it has the little fluffy end on this side and the eyebrow bit on that side. Whatever, you can see that. Alright, so first I'm going to go in with this fluffy end and just spoolie out my eyebrows and kind of like fluff them up. All right, also I have, I've got a mirror on this side, so I'm gonna be like half looking in that mirror and half looking in my camera. It's really hard. 
and the same with this side. Then I will be going in with the eyebrow pencil part of this. So it's just contour on that kind of angle, which is great. It's like always perfect brows. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of be looking in there, so apologies. All right, so I've done that pencil bit. So I always start with the bottom to give it the definition and then kind of just lightly kind of feather the top because I want it to still look kind of natural. Okay, so you can see the difference between that side and this side. All right, now eyebrow number two. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Then I'm gonna go in with this Benefit but Gimme Brow in the color, I have no idea, three. They actually have one that's for redheads, but I haven't used that yet, so still using my brown. Good old fashioned brown. So I'm just going to use that to kind of feather, especially the front of my eyebrows, and kind of set them in place. So next is, I think I'm going to do my rouge or like blush, and then I'm going to do my eyes last. I know most like makeup gurus do it first, but I like to be different. All right, so next I'm just going to be using this Too Faced palette, um, and it says, I believe in pink. I got it as a Christmas set, so it came with three, but I don't know actually what the set is. And I'm going to be using this big pink color down the bottom that's called Pink Poinsettia. All right, and I'm just using this MAC brush. So I'm just going to get the apples of my cheeks by like smiling like a weirdo. And again, I kind of bring it down and like up my cheekbones to make it a little bit more like natural looking. I always put a tiny bit on my chin and a bit on my temples. Just again, to like to make sure it's like not just like one color sitting one place on your face. Cause that'd be weird. All right, so my phone battery died, not phone. Mm, my camera battery died. So I got dressed in the meantime. So I'm just wearing a little black onesie and a black top that I stole from my sister's wardrobe. <laughs> um, and then I'll show you my fascinator in a second, but we were up to, um, what's that thing called? Highlighter. So I'm gonna be using this Too Faced palette and it's from that same family as that like blush that I used. And I'm just gonna be using this highlighter down the bottom that's called Dashing Through the Glow. So obviously it was a Christmas one. So I'm just gonna be putting that just here and just on my temples and on that bit, the like Cupid's bow, whatever. Okay, next and very quickly, I'm just gonna be using my Anastasia um, palette, eyeshadow palette, and these three um, MAC brushes. So I've got the fluffy one, I've got this one for my like pale um, like colors, and then this one is like my main brush. So, oh, I can give you the numbers. This one is number 224, this one is a 217, and this one is a, uh, I think, 252, but that one's almost like rubbed off, so don't really know. All right, so first I'm gonna be going in with, what color? I'm thinking like paler kind of colors today. Um, maybe like one of these. So I'm gonna go in with a burnt orange. So that's just that one there. And just on like the crease. I said paler, but like really, who am I kidding? I love these colors. And yep, same color just on my other lid. And I'm also gonna be using that same burnt orange mixed with a little bit of this lighter one called orange soda, just for my lash line at the bottom. All right, so then I'm gonna be going in with this pale brush and I'm gonna be using tempera. I think, um, and I'm just gonna be patting that onto my lid. Cool, and I'm just gonna be using that excess just up here to highlight that brow bone. Um, then I'm gonna be going in with, hmm, I think I want some kind of like glittery niceness. So I'm gonna be using that same brush and just getting this color here called bronze. And I'm going to be using that just on the outer edges. All 
All right, and finally, I'm gonna go in with my big fluffy brush and I'm just going to be using a little bit, a mix of the burnt orange and a little bit of fairy just to kind of make it, so these two right next to each other, to make it kind of like orangey but also glittery. But <sighs> clean my brush first. <sighs> I'm so professional. And the great thing about this blush, bleh, brush is that it blends it all together really nicely. Actually, that reminds me. I'm going to be using... Um, that's my smallest brush I've got so far. I'm going to be using Fairy, which was that one, and just go right underneath my lash line just here. Wow, that's like... It's popping. So I'm just going to be using this Kiko Mascara. Um, this one says it's supposed to make your eyelashes like super long in 30 days, which look, I've been using it for more than 30 days. I haven't really noticed so much of a difference, but it does make your eyelashes look really nice and long. So I'm just be using that one. So. Look, I'm not a huge fan of this brush. But it actually does wonders for my eyelashes. So, can't complain. And then because I want this to last all day, I'm just going to be using my favourite Benefit, their Real Mascara. Um, just over the top, kind of just to like, give it more volume. Just look at this brush, it's crazy. Love this stuff. Alright. Alright. Uh, now onto a lip. I'm thinking of a red lip today because, you know, it's a red lip kind of day. I'm wearing all black, so I need something to kind of spice it up a bit. So I'm going to have red lips in really soon YouTube time. So I've done my red lip. Basically, I just use this lip liner, Vivid Impact, and I used my uh, Revlon lipstick in the color um, 720, super lustrous. Lustrous lipstick. That was great. So next is just my final outfit. So I'm gonna go grab my my fascinator that I made and I'll be right back. Alright, so here's my headpiece. It's nice and colourful. It's got lots of different little paper flowers. And I think I'm gonna have my hair down because then I don't have to work out what earrings I'm wearing. Lazy. Alright, and so that's my finished look. Oh, I suppose I could give you like a proper look. Let me see. Can mm -hmm. I have to excuse my messy wardrobe? So that's just my finished look. Little onesie, cute top, and my hat. But um, not too sure what I'm going to, what um jacket I'm going to put on with this. But yolo. Look how rainy it's looking outside. Literally devastating. Anyway, if you like this kind of video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and comment any other things you'd like me to do down below. If you like this kind of quick get ready with me kind of thing, yeah, comment, like, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time, guys. Peace out.